To start, deal five cards to each player. Five is the initial hand limit of all players. The minimum hand limit is one. Players should make note of their highest card, play a number of rounds equal to the number of players plus three. Players state a card that they intend to play to try and influence the behavior of the other players. However, bluffing is allowed. I am going to play an ace of hearts. I'm going to play a jack of hearts. Then play continues to the play phase. Players play a card face down, then flip it over. Wild cards activate after being flipped over. The wild cards are 5, 4, 3, and 2. Each wild card played activates only once, and they activate in this order. A 3 activates before a 5, which activates before a 4, which activates before a 2. A 3 allows whoever played the card to switch this card with any other played card, potentially stealing a win or another wild card. A 5 allows the, whoever played the card to choose a player, including themselves, whose hand limit will be increased by 1. A 4 allows whoever played the card to choose a player and decrease their hand limit by 1. A 2, regardless of what cards are on the table, automatically causes the round to result in a tie. A player who has played the highest card in their hand must then show their entire hand to all other players. If their highest is the highest face-up card, they win. However, this player's hand limit has decreased by one. Okay, good one. Well, that was my highest card. Wait a minute. And, like, just to prove that was my highest card. Um, so, I win. If a single player is clearly winning by having won half or more of the rounds before the final round, then a high noon round starts. For high noon, all players discard their hands. The player who has won the most number of rounds draws two cards and plays them face up on the table in order from lowest to highest. Everyone else draws five cards and attempts to beat the face up cards. Each player plays one card on each of the two cards that are face up on the table. If there is a tie, ignore the scoring rules and instead rule in favor of the player who has won the least number of rounds. High noon is worth two points, but does not result in a decrease to hand limit. Continue to the remaining rounds as normal. If neither player attempts to win, or if a player attempted to win but failed because their card wasn't the highest card on the table, then the play phase results in a tie, and all players increase their hand limit by one. They then draw cards up to their hand limit before starting another round. If the match has resulted in a tie, players also have the option to discard their hand and draw a new one if so desired. So if it wasn't my highest, that is my highest. After a vocal and play phase have been completed, the round is over. Players then move on to the next round, repeating the vocal and play phase once again. The final round follows different rules entirely. There is no vocal phase, and the play phase behaves differently. The player with the least number of cards plays all their cards face up from lowest to highest. All other players play a single card on each of these face up cards in an attempt to beat these cards, discarding their remaining hand. Whoever won the most out of the cards on the table wins the final round and gets two points. Beat. 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 You win that one, and you win that one. Fine. <laughs> so, I won four out of this six. Yeah. Spades and clubs beat heart and diamonds, but spade beats club and heart beats diamond. This is how you will resolve a tie. Winning a match is one point. Winning high noon or the final match is two points. The player with the most number of points at the end of the game wins the game. If there is for whatever reason a tie in those number of points, then the player whose winning cards have a higher value over the other player wins the entire game.